Yeah, I didn't hear many of them on the 18th green at Augusta National, but I think even the Tiger Woods haters appreciate this story. The cries I heard for Tiger at 18 and 12, sorry about the creek, Francesco Molinari, and 15, sorry about that pine cone, Francesco Molinari, told me that this win was special for the patrons at Augusta National, and I don't blame them. It was special for me too. It was a moment in my career that I will never forget. But Tiger didn't win this for us. He won it for him. He told us earlier in the week at the practice round that he didn't need to win this year. But when you're the best guy in your field, the best in the world, and maybe the best ever, and you fall off like Tiger did to the dark lows in his personal life that we all saw in the public eye and the pain on the golf course that he just couldn't control, I think you do need to win again. It's ironic that uh, I'm given a chance to, to play golf again. Lo and behold, uh, I win a tournament coming from behind, which I hadn't done for the first 14. Just amazing. And the Tiger that won this year's Masters is clearly not the same Tiger that won in 1997, 2001, 2002, and 2005. He has a lot less hair, a lot more wrinkles. Life has humbled him. Golf has humbled him. But he's back. He won in front of his children, who saw him win a major with their own eyes for the first time ever. Tiger got to hug his kids just like his father hugged him off that 18th green. This has meant so much to me and my family, this tournament, to have everyone here. It's something I'll never ever forget. And these are stories that we love to watch, stories I love to tell, and that's the story that we'll never forget. And it may be the greatest thing that Tiger has ever done.